the proclaim means uh, to make something known officially or pro- public to make something known officially or publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially or publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something no- known officially and publicly is called the pro- to make something uh, to make something known officially and publicly uh, officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known of officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim to make something known officially and publicly is called the proclaim Uh, their monkey like prank and proclaim to them the glories of the shri ram chandras the glories glories of the shri ram chandras proclaim to known the glories glories means uh, glories glories of the shri ram chandra Go- glories glories means magnificence or great beauty is called the glory magnificence or great beauty is called the glory magnificence and great beauty is called the glory magnificence and great beauty is called the glory magnificence or great beauty is called the glory magnificence and 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 great beauty is called the glory of the shri ram chandra then grasping each of gold pillar in their hands and grasping each of gold pillar in their hands the two champions exclaimed then grasping each a gold pillar in their hands the two champions exclaimed let us now begin upon our revenging job presently let us now exclaim proclaim to them the glories of the shri ram chandras glories of the proclaim to them the glories of the shri ram chandra proclaim to them the glories of the shri ram chandra proclaim to them the glories of the shri ram chandra proclaim to them the glories glories means uh, glories means magnificent and great beauty take great pride or pleasure in is called the glory take great pride and pleasure in praise honor or distinction extend by common consent praise honor or distinction extend by common praise honor and distinction praise by the common consent praise honor looking very fine or impressive glories the public house is one of the great glories in the country glory glory means fame is called the glories fame and celebrity is called the glory glories of shri ram chandra then grasping each of the each a gold pillar in their hands the two champions exclaims then grasping each a gold pillar in their hands and then grasping each a gold pillar in their hands the two champion explain let us now begin upon our revenging job presently they rode and fell on the enemy's rank and begin to crush them enemy's ranks and begin to crush them with the mighty strength of arm striking some with the foot and slapping another on the face and crying take the consequences now adoring shri rama presently they rode and fell on the enemy's rank fell on the enemy's rank ranks means yeah, fell on the enemy's rank rank means rank rank means uh, a particular position higher or lower than others is called the rank a particular position higher or lower than other is called the rank a particular position higher or lower than other is called the a particular position higher or lower than other is called the rank a particular position higher or lower than other is called the rank a particular position higher or lower than other is called the rank a particular position higher and lower other is called the rank a particular position higher and lower other is called the rank a particular position higher and low, lower other is called the rank a particular position higher and lower other is called the rank enemy's rank higher and lower and begin to crush them with their mighty strength of the arm striking some of their foot and slapping another on the face crying take this is not a ruin shri rama the two heroes crush their adversaries once again and then pulling off the victims heads held them with such precision that they dropped in front of the ravana's blast like so many earthen vessels the two hero crush their adversaries crush their adversaries one against another's adversaries one and uh, adversaries adversaries means uh, an enemy or opponent in a champ competition an enemy or opponent in a competition is called the 
adversary the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversary the enemy and opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy and uh, adversaries the ad adversaries up uh, enemy and opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called adversary the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversary the two hero crush their adversaries once against another pulling off the victim's head hurled them with such precision hurled them with the precision they dropped in front of the hurled them with such precision precision means precision 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 means uh, the quality being clear or exact the quant quality of being clear or ex exact the quality of being clear or exact the amount of for that conveyed by number of term of its digits the precision precision the precision is the quality or state of being uh, precise exactness exactness precision the quality of being exact the quality of being careful and accurate the quality of qualities of being careful and accurate precisions with such a precisions hurl them with a precisions that they drop in precisions that they drop in front of ravana brushed like uh, and was like so many earthen vessels full of curd earth vessels full of curd was like so many earthen vessels full of curd whenever the two monkey chief caught hold of any great general of the demon host they would seize him by the leg and send him flying to their lord shri rama vishnu would mention their name and shri rama assigned even them a quarter in his own abode assigned even then a quarter in his own about even assigned even them a quarter in this own about assign assign means assign assign means uh, even in a quarter assign means to give something to somebody for a particular purpose is called assign to give somebody uh, a particular job to do is called the assign to do uh, to give somebody a uh, particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to do to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody particular job to do is called assign to give somebody particular job to do is called assign to give somebody particular job to do is called assign to give somebody particular job to do is called assign to give somebody particular job to do is called assign Uh, Vishnu mentions them assigned to give even the quarter in his own abode, even uh, them a quarter in his own abode assigned to give somebody is assigned. Men eating monsters who feasts on the flesh of the holy Brahmans. Men eating monsters who feasts on the flesh of the holy Brahmans. Men eating monsters who fe feasts on the flesh of the holy Brahmans. Men eating monsters who feast on the flesh of the holy Brahmans. Men eating monsters who feast on the flesh of the holy Brahmans. Thus attain a destiny which is solicited even by the. Thus attain a destiny which is solicited, which is solic even by the yogis, as it is given to contemplations or God. Even is solicited even by yogis, as it is given to the contemplation of God. Um, um, men eating monsters who feasts the flesh of the flesh of the holy brahmans thus attain a destiny which is solicited even by the yogis solicited uh, solicited even by the yogi ascetic given to count contemplation of the god ascetic even solicited solicited means uh, solicited to ask uh, somebody for money help support is called the solicited to ask somebody for money help support is called the solicited to ask somebody to money help support is called the solicited to ask somebody for money help support is called the solicited to go to somebody especially in a public place and offer offers 
return for money is called the solicited to go to go to somebody especially in a public place and offer in return of money sex in to return money is called the solicited to go for somebody especially in public place and offer sex in return for money is called the solicited solicited to go somebody especially in a public place and offer sex in return for money is called the solicited to ask somebody uh, for money help uh, support is called the solicited and uh, which is solicited even by the yogis ascetic given to contemplations or contemplation contemplation means contemplation 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 means contemplation contemplation means avlokan chintan that is contemplation contem contemplation means to look or view with continuous attention is called a contemplation to look at view with continuous attention is called a contemplation observe or study thoughtfully 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 is called a contemplation observe or study thoughtful is called the contemplation observe or study thoughtful is called the contemplation observe or study uh, thoughtful is called the contemplation observe or study thoughtful is called the contemplation observe or study thoughtful is called the contemplation uh, observe or study thoughtful is called the contemplation 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 observe or study thoughtfully is called the contemplation observe or study thoughtful 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 is called the contemplation observe or study Uh, thoughtful is called the contemplation observe or study thoughtful is called the t- contemplation contemplation contemplations contemplation even the contemplation on god as it is given to contemplation to god uma continue lord shiva shri rama is so tender hearted and such a storehouse of the compassion that he bestows the highest state final beatitude even on the demons remembering that they think of him even throw in the spirit of hostility remembering that they think of him even who throw in the whole spirit of hostility remembering that he, they think of him even throw in a spirit of hostility remembering them they think of him even throw in a spirit of hostility remembering that they think of him even throw in a spirit of hostility 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 tell me bhavani who else is so been benignant Who so benignant, 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 so benignant. Who is so benignant? Benignant means uh, kindly and benevolent. A less common terms of benign. Benignant means uh, gracious, charitable. Is called the benignant. Generous, 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 cheerful. Is called the benignant. As so benignant. most dull witted and utterly uh, raged are the men who even on hearing of such lord worship him not in spirit of tell me who is benignant who most dull witted and utterly raged are the men most dull witted and utterly raged are the men most dull witted and utterly raged are the men most dull witted and utterly raged are the men who even on hearing of such lord worship him not tell me bhavani who else is been in it most delvited and utterly raged uh, are the men who even on hearing of such a lord worship him not raged delvited and utterly raged 
uh, are the men who even on hearing of such uh, a lord worship him not this this abusing themselves of all delusions uh, angadas and hanumana have evidently forced their may and this abusing this abusing themselves of all delusions this abusing themselves of all of delusions angada and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the fort of the lanka this abusing themselves of all delusions angada and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the fort of lanka thus observes ayodhya's lord repenting in lanka the two monkey look like a pair of mandaras churning the oceans in themselves of all delusions angada and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the fort of the lanka angada and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the fort of the lanka evidently evidently forced their way into the evidently forced their way evidently forced their way into the fort of the lanka thus uh, thus observes ayodhya's lord repenting in lanka ayodhya's lord repenting in L- L- lanka repenting repenting in lanka repenting means repenting repenting in lanka repent to move through a place in violent group usually breaking the things and attacking people is called a repent to move through a place in a violent group usually breaking things and attacking people is called a repent to move through a place in a violent group usually breaking things and attacking people is called a repent to move through a pa- pa- place in a violent group uh, usually breaking the things and attacking people is called a repent to move through in a violent group usually breaking the things and atta- attacking people breaking the things and attacking people is called a repenting in La lanka the two monkeys look like a pair of mandras churning the oceans pair of mandras churning the ocean mandras mandras pair of mandras churning churning the oceans pair of mandras mandras churning the ocean pair of mandras 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 chan mandras churning the oceans pair of mandras mandra churning the ocean chair pair of mandras churning the oceans pair of mandras churning the oceans mandras means large one slow heavenly heaven parasite abode of lord mandras means uh, large firm large firm slow heavenly parasite abode of lord mandras oceans mandras mandras oceans mandras mandras ocean mandras mandras oceans sending the lord mandras ocean mandras oceans mandras oceans sending the ocean mandras sending the oceans having crushed and mandras uh, sending the oceans the two monkeys let loose their fury against the enemies on the battlefield and walking in their heart the might of the shri ramas both reign up to the ravana's own palace and proclaim the victory of kaushala's lords holding the edifice in their hands they overthrew it it very pinnacle the demon king was dismayed when he saw this the women beat their breast with their hands crying this times the two festilians festilin monkeys has come festilin to my festilin monkeys has come festilin festilin means festilin festilin means uh, destructive to life deadly destructive to life deadly destructive to life destructive festilin monkeys have come angada and hanumana frightened them with the monkey like prank and proclaimed to them the glories of the shri ram chandra then grasping each of the gold pillar in their hands Uh, the two uh, champions exclaimed let us now begin upon the revenging job presently they rode and fell on the enemy's rank uh, and begin to crush them with their mighty strength of the arm striking some with their foot and slapping another on the face and crying take the consequences of not adoring shri rama the two heroes crush their adversaries one against another and pulling off the victim's heads hurled them with such a precision that they dropped in front of the ravana's and burst like so many earthen vessels full of curd yeah. whenever the two monkey chief caught hold of any great general of the demon hoes they would seize them by the legs and send him flying to their lord shri ram 
Vishna would mention their name and Sri Rama assigned even them a quarter in his own abode. Men eating monsters who feast on the flesh of the holy Brahmas thus attain a destiny which is solicited even by the yogis as it is given to contemplation on God. Uma continued Lord Shiva, Sri Rama is so tender hearted and such a storehouse of the compassion that he bestowed the highest rank final beatitude even on the demons remembering that they think on him even through the spirit of hostility. Tell me Bhavani who else is so benign, most dull witted and utterly raged are the men who even on hearing such a lot worship him not, disabusing themselves on all delusions, disabusing, disabusing. Angadas and one evidently forced their way into the fort of the Lanka. Thus observe Ayodhya's lot. Repenging in Lanka, the two monkeys look like a pair of mandras churning the disabusing themselves. Disabusing means disabusing. It is abusing, disabusing. Disabusing means disabusing. Disabusing means pursued that an idea of belief is mistaken. Pursued that an idea of belief is mistaken is called a disabusing. Pursued that an idea someone pursued someone that an idea of belief is mistaken is called a disabusing. Pursued uh, that an idea of belief is mistaken is called a disabusing. Disabusing means not providing amusement or entertainment is called a disabusing. Not providing entertainment uh, that cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To uh, to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong to to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. To cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing. Disabusing themselves, uh, Lord worship him. Most elevated and utterly raised are the men who even disabusing themselves on uh, all delusions. Wrong idea is called the disabusing themselves. Wrong idea delusions. Delusions means delusions. Delusions. Wrong idea delusions. Delusions means uh, delusion. Delusion. Delusion means dis disabusing. Delusion. Delusion means uh, a false belief is called a delusion. A false belief is called a delusions. A false belief is called a delusions. A false belief is called a delusions. A false belief is called a delusion. 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 Delusion. Disabusing themselves in all delusions angada and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the fort of the edifs on hearing such a lord worship him not worship him not hearing such a lord worship him not worship means worship him not worship worship means worship worship means uh, worship worship means to pray to a slow show respect for a god to love or admire someone, somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love and admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. To love or admire somebody something very much is called a worship. Worship him not, uh, disabusing themselves in all delusions. Uh, delusions, Angadas and Hanumana has evidently forced their way into the fort of the Lanka. Uh, thus observes Ayodhya's lords, repenging in Lanka. The two monkeys look like a pair of repenging, ra rampaging in Lanka, ramp ramping in Lanka, two monkeys churning the oceans, churning the oceans. Rampaging, present, repenging is. 
to move through a place in violent group usually breaking things in attacking people is called repenging to move through a place repenging group and breaking the place repenging in lanka the two monkey look like a pair of mandras churning the ocean pair of mandras churning the oceans pair of mandras churning the ocean pair of mandras churning the oceans pair of mandras festins uh, repenge means to move through the place uh, uh, to move through the place in a violent group uh, usually breaking things are taking pulls called repenging to move through a place in a violent group usually breaking the things and attacking people is called repenging worship means to pray and show respect to god is called to love and worship means to love and admire somebody something very much to love and admire somebody something very much to love and admire somebody something very much delusion delusion means delusion they may believe in family may be trying to poison them with delusions believe they may believe the the family member is trying to poison them is called a delusions delusion delusion means uh, trying to a false belief is called a delusion 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 this abusing uh this abuse to cause someone no longer to have wrong ideas called a this abusing to cause someone no longer to have wrong ideas called a this abusing to uh, to cause uh, to to cause someone to do uh, no longer to have a wrong idea is called a this abusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a disabusing this abusing to cause someone no longer to have a wrong idea is called a this abusing uh delusion means bhram the false belief is called a delusion a false belief is called a delusion false belief is called a delusions a false belief is called a delusion a false belief is called a delusions Ex- uh, exclaim defense a false belief is called a delusions formidable means inspiring fear is called a formidable inspiring fear valiant means uh, uh, formidable rank rank means the particular position higher or lower than others the particular position higher and lower than others is called the rank particular position adversaries adversaries means uh, uh, an enemy and opponent in a competition is called adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversary an i mean enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries an enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries the enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries enemy or opponent in competition is called the adversaries precision assign means uh, to give some thing somebody something to give something to somebody a particular purpose is called assign to give somebody to somebody something to somebody for particular purpose is called assign to give something to somebody for a particular purpose is called assign to give something to somebody for a particular purpose is called assign to give somebody to give somebody particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular purpose is called to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called the assign to give somebody's particular job to do is called the assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called the assign to give somebody a particular job to do is called the assign to give somebody to give some uh, something to somebody for particular purpose to give somebody and something to particular purpose is called the assign to give some somebody's particular job to do is called the precisions precisions means uh, to the amount of information that conveyed by the number in term of its digits 
the amount of information conveyed by the number in terms of digits is called the precision precision is the quality of being clear and exact the quality of being clear or exact is called the precision adversaries adversaries means uh, the enemy or opponent in competition the enemy and opponent in competition a particular job uh, a position higher or lower than others is called the rank glorious glorious means a particular position higher and lower than others glories 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 means fame evidence celebrity fame is called the glory brilliance Efflu effluence effluence is called the glory the uh, house of glory 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 means glory means magnificence and great beauty take great pride and pleasure in is called the glory magnificence or great beauty magnificence or great beauty is called the glory magnificence and great beauty is called the glory glory means magnificence and great beauty is called the glory uh, proclaim proclaim means to declare publicly typically insistently proudly or definitely and either speech or writing is called the proclaim proclaim festin festin means uh, destructive in life deadly is called the destructive in life pinnacle pinnacle means top of the success is called the pinnacle top of the success is called the pinnacle pinnacle means destructive to life deadly is called the pinnacle destructive to life deadly is called the pinnacle overthrow overthrow to remove a leader or government from power by using force is called the overthrow to remove a leader or government from a power for using force is called the mm, overthrow edifice edifice a large impressive building is called the edifice large impressive building is called the edifice a large impressive building is called the edifice a large impressive building used to saying that something is possible is called the might used to saying that something is possible is called the might used to saying that something is possible is called the might battlefield means a place where battle is fought is called the battlefield a place where battle is fought is called the battlefield furry means very great anger is called the furry 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 defense means uh, something that you do or say to protect somebody something from attack bad treatment criticism is called the defense something that you say to protect somebody something from attack and bad treatment and criticism is called the defense bad treatment and tra- criticism is called the the two monkeys let loose their fury against the enemies on the battlefield in working the heart of the might of the shri ram both reign to the ramna's own palace and proclaim the victory of the kaushala's lord uh, proclaim the victory of the uh, holding the evidence in their hands edifice in their head they overthrew it with every pinnacle the demon king was dismayed when he saw this the mo- the woman beat their breast with their hands crying this time the two festerins monkeys has come angadas and hanumana frightened them with their monkey like pranks and proclaimed to them the glories of the shri ram chandra then grasping each a gold pillar in their hands the two champions exclaimed let us now benign begin upon our revenging job begin upon our revenging job presently they rode and fell on the enemy's rank and begin to crush them with their mighty strength of arms striking some with their foot and slapping another on the face and crying take the consequences of not adoring shri rama the two hero crushed their adversaries once against another and pulling off the victims heads hurled them with such precision they that they dropped in front of ravana's and burst like so many arthan vases full of cards the two monkeys let loose their fury against the enemies on the battlefield invoking in their heart the might of shri rama both reign up to the ravana's own palace and proclaim the victory of kaushala's lord holding the edifice in their hands they overthrew it with every pinnacle the demon king was dismayed when he saw this the woman beat their breast with their hand crying this time the two fishings monkeys has come angada and hanumana frightened them with the monkey like prank and proclaimed to them the glories of shri ram chandra then grasping such a gold pillar in their hands the two champions exclaimed let us now be benign begin upon a revenging job presently they rode and fell on the enemy's rank and begin to crush them with their mighty strength of the arm striking some with their foot and slapping another on the face and crying 
टेक द कंसिक्वेंस ऑफ नॉट एडोरिंग श्री रामा द टू हीरो क्रच देर एडवर्सरीज वंस अगेंस्ट एन अदर्स एंड पुलिंग ऑफ द विक्टिम्स हैड्स हर दैम विद सच प्रशिशंस दैट दे ड्रॉप इन फ्रंट ऑफ रामना एंड बस लाइक सो मेनी अर्थन वेसेज फुल ऑफ कर्ड्स वेन एवर द टू मंकी चीफ कॉट होल्ड एनी ग्रेट जनरल इन द डेमन होज दे वुड सीज हिम विद द लेग्स एंड सेंड हिम फ्लाइंग टू द लॉर्ड श्री रामा विष्णा वुड मैंशन देयर नेम एंड श्री रामा असाइन इवन दैम ए क्वार्टर इन दे ओन अबॉड मैन ईटिंग मोस्टर्स हु फीसटन्स ऑन द फ्लैश ऑफ द होली ब्राह्मण द सटेन इट डेस्टिनी विद द सोलिसटेड इवन बाय द योगीज एसिटिक्स गिवन टू द कंटेपलेशन और गॉड उमा कंटिन्यू लॉर्ड शिवा श्री रामा इज सो टेंडर हार्टेड एंड सच ए स्टोर हाउस ऑफ द कंपेशन दैट ही बेस्ट ऑफ द हाइस्ट स्टेट फाइनल बैटीट्यूड इवन ऑन द डेमन रिमेंबरिंग दैट दे थिंक ऑफ हिम इवन थ्रो इन द स्पिट्स ऑफ होस्टलिटी टेल मी भवानी हु एज ए सो बिनाइनेट मोस्ट डेलविटेड एंड अटरली रेस्ड आर द मैन हु इवन ऑन हियरिंग सच ए लॉर्ड वर्शिप हिम नॉट डिस अप्यूजिंग दैम सेल्स ऑफ ऑल डिल्यूशंस Uh, angadas and hanumana have evidently forced their way into the force fort of the lanka thus observes ayodhya's lords repenging in uh, lanka the two monkeys look like a pair of madras churning pair of mandra churning the oceans and the two monkeys let loose their fury against the enemies on the battlefield in walking in their heart the might of shri rama both reign up the ravana's uh, own uh, palace and proclaim the victory of kaushala's lord holding the evidence in their hands they overthrow it with every pinnacle the demon king was dismayed when he saw this the women beat their breasts with their hands crying this time uh, this time mm, the two festive monkeys have come Angadas and Hanumana frightened them with their monkey-like prank and proclaimed to them the glories of the Shri Ram Chandra. Thus, grasping each a gold pillar in their hands, the two champions exclaimed, "Let us now uh, begin upon uh, our revenging job." Presently, they rode and fell on the enemy's ranks and began to crush them with their mighty strength of arm, striking some with the foot and slapping others on the face and crying. take the consequences of not adoring shri rama the two heroes crush their adversaries one against another in pulling off the victims heads hurt them with such precision that they dropped in front of the ravanas and bust like so many earthen vases full of cards whenever the two monkey chief caught hold of any great general of the demon who they would seize him by the legs and send him flying to the lord shri rama vishnu would mention their name and shri rama assigned even a quarter in his own abode men eating monsters who feasts on the flesh of the holy brahmans thus attains a destiny with the soli sated even by the yogis ascetic given to contemplation on god uma continue lord shiva shri rama is so tender hearted in such a store house of the champion that he bestows the highest status final beauty even on the demons re- remembering that they think of him even through in a spirit of hostility tell me bhavani who else is so benign most deliberate and utterly right are the men who even on hearing such a lord worship him not is abusing themselves of all delusions angadas and hanumana have evidently forced their ways into the fort of the lanka thus observes ayodhya's lord repenging in lanka the two monkeys look like a pair of the mandra churning the ocean <coughs> the two monkeys let loose their fury against the enemies on the battlefield and walking in their heart the might of shri rama both reign up to ravana's own palace and proclaim the victory of kaushala's lord holding the edifice in their hands they overthrew it with every pinnacle a demon host was dismayed when he saw this the women beat their breast with their hands crying this time the two festilins monkeys has comes angata and hanumana frightened them with their monkey like prank and proclaimed to them the glories of shri ramachandra the grasping each or a gold pillar in their hands the two champion exclaimed let us now be nine upon our revenge job Yeah, presently they rode and fell on the enemy's ranks and began to crush them with the mighty arms of the arms striking some with the foot and slapping and consider not adoring shri rama two heroes crush their adversaries one against another pulling off the victims heads hurled them with such precision that they dropped in front of ravana and brush like so many earthen vessels full of curd 
whenever the two monkey chief caught hold of any great general of the demon host they would seize the him by the legs and send him flying to their lord um, vibhishna would mention their name and shri ram assign even them a quarter in his own abode many eating monsters who feasts on the flesh of the holy brahmans thus attains a destiny which is solicited even by the yogis as it is given to contemplation of the god oma continued lord shiva shri ram is so tender heart and such a storehouse of the compassion that he bestowed the high just a state final battle even of the demons remembering that they think on him even through in the spirit of hostility tell me bhavani who else is so uh, benign most elevated and utterly raised are the men who even hearing such lord worship him not disabusing themselves in all delusions and that hanuman have evidently forced their ways into the fort of the lanka thus observe ayodhya's lord a pair ramping in lanka the two monkey look like a pair of madras churning the ocean shri ramayana पी नंबर एट सेवेंटी सेवेंटी वन